Hey guys, welcome back to the Frank Camera Team. Today I'll, we'll be doing this really cute, fun photo. I've already gone and put my tape here on it. And I wrote out the word fun. You can write any word you want down. And then we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys the supplies you need. You're going to need the scotch tape to tape out whatever word you need. Then you're going to need paintbrushes. So I have three different kinds. I have this thick one. I have this medium one. And I have this small one. So, and then you're going to need to pick out your colors. You need two colors. One color is to outline this in. And another color will be to draw our cow print on it. So I took some pretty fun springy colors. So I have my black here. That's what I'm outlining the words in. And that little teal, that's what I'm making the cow prints in. And you need your water. And you need a paper towel. Use, I'm using acrylic paint, and that's what I prefer you guys use because it'll come out better. Or you can use watercolor paint. It just depends on who you are. So what I'm first going to do is the cow prints. And the cow prints are kind of crazy. Cows, if you know what a cow print is. So I'm kind of just going to do cow prints all over here. So cow prints are always like, kind of like a cloud. They're never ever the same on a cow. So, you can, this is a time where you can be free when you color your cow prints here. So I'm going to start off by doing the outlines all over and then I'll color it in because I'm going to use my thick one to color it in. So I'm going to kind of give myself an even amount. So I'm going to do one here. This will turn out really cute, I hope. I've never done this before, so I hope it turns really cute, and I think it will. I think maybe it looks like maybe raindrops, more like cow prints, but I don't know. It's You, you guys say whatever you think it is. Let me know in the comments below. So, I'm, I have three so far. I have an even amount here. So, I think I'm going to do one in the corner here. Right here. You want to give it a balanced amount. So, I have that one there. I think I'm going to give one right here. I like to keep it balanced so it doesn't look overwhelmed. Because... Then your painting will not look really good. But it's up to you. If you like overwhelmed paintings, then go for it, girl. Oh boy. Alright. So now I'm going to, I think, I think I'm going to do a cow print maybe like right up here. Like a little short one. And then maybe a little cow print little short cow print here. Put that in that corner. And I think I'm going to add one right by this, but we're going to have to go through it with my black paint. So you have to be careful so you don't get the lettering. But it's going to look like I want to go, I'm making it go into with that. And then I think I'm going to add like a little small one up here. Alrighty guys. Now it's time for the fill in part. So we're going to fill in it. I'm just going to talk here while I fill it in. So if you guys have any ideas or things you want me to do for acrylic paint, um, you could do this with watercolors. You know, if you've never used watercolors before, then I wouldn't recommend it because watercolors are a little bit more spready. They will spread it out. It will spread, like the water will spread, and it will be like you wouldn't you get wouldn't get the best cow prints. But sometimes people think um, watercolors are really pretty. So, the more, in my opinion. Um, so don't come at me, but um, in my opinion, I feel like watercolors are better for using if you're going to do a sunset. 
So and it's okay to paint on the tapes if your paint is if your tape is fully down, you can paint over it. Acrylics are very easy and they they're just very smooth. Sometimes I like the, my favorite kind of paint is those paints. I forgot what they call it, but they're very glossy. They make everything shiny and everything. I'm just going back over this because I feel like it's not the best. And I'm doing this on this paper, but you can do it on a canvas if you are very trustworthy in yourself. I put tape at the corners here because I think that looks pretty cool. You don't have to do that, but I did. And I just thought that looks really cool because I might cut off the edges. So that's why I did that, but I might not cut it off. I don't know yet. I don't, still don't understand why I did that. Alrighty, so I will be right back. Sorry guys about that. We're gonna go back now. Sorry about that. I had to take this phone call real fast. Alright, um, we're gonna go and we'll paint the rest here. I'm gonna paint really fast here for you. And at any time, if you're going along with me, um, at any time, be sure to pause. You're more than welcome to. But. I did I before we get more in tune, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe to me and Kinsley's channel, the Green Camo 2, because we're gonna be posting we're trying to post videos almost every single day. And I don't think you guys want to miss out on them, right? So if you don't want to miss out on our videos, all the new ones we post, then subscribe and hit the bell icon because the bell icon I'll notify you every time we get you we post a new video. We're gonna be posting crazy fun videos. And like I said when we first started this channel, if you go back to our very, very first video, um we said that we'd do crazy wonky stuff. And oh, I don't know what we've done. We've made a couple crazy wonky videos and you have seen some of Kinsley's friends in it so yeah one day we do hope to get 1 million so if you want to help us succeed in our goal to getting 1 million if you want to help us help us and beat and succeed just subscribe please we'd like to give 1 million if you have any ideas, because one day we probably will run out of ideas. Or I'm not. But if, if you have any ideas. Sorry. So I'm thinking, I'm looking at it now. And I'm thinking... I don't know. If you feel like it needs more, go for it. I'm just adding some finishing touches here. Just going over it so it doesn't have that weird not finished look, I think that's what it's called. Oh, it's looking so adorable. So now we're going to go and take our thick one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go outline. 
As you can see, we have already painted over here. We are just not going to paint there. That's all. So, a little brush. Just gonna. I'm just gonna paint beside it. I'm gonna be free in doing this. It's just to get out the word fun. Or whatever word you put down. I came up with the word fun because I feel like that would be a good word. So make sure you get all around it so it comes out. And then I'm gonna go to my U. Make sure your tape is already pressed down or it will not work. I will make a quick video for when it's dry and what it turns out to be. I will make a quick video, so keep tuned to see what mine looks like. And you're more than welcome to post what yours looks like. And I would love to see what you guys made. Almost finished. If it looks crazy, yeah, it's gonna how it's gonna be. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. I'm just gonna. I feel like painting for that. Just, I'm just gonna get the finishing touches. I don't care. I feel like if it's crazy, it's fun. I'm just gonna get right in those little areas. Well, there you go, guys. I will show you guys my finishing touches. Clean up your messes, what you've done, and thank you for watching.